Uh, as we enter into our first week uh, in our back to school campaign, uh, it's really important that we get the message across to the community to, to be very careful, to be mindful of the fact that there are about 42,000 new students beginning our schools. So that's potentially 42,000 children who are turning up to a particular school for the first time. This of course makes for a potentially dangerous scenario around school zones and traffic. Uh, the fact is that uh, there is a risk whenever we're driving near school zones, but particularly that, that uh, drop off and pick up period uh, that uh, uh, children can um, act spontaneously in a way that will put themselves at great risk. So we are urging motorists to take great care, to comply with the speed limits in school zones uh, and to ensure that this week, this return to school is not marred with the fatalities that we can often, too often see. I think it's, uh, it's really important for people to understand that we will be enforcing speed school zones. Uh, we will be there in numbers. Uh, there is a week-long campaign devoted to this and so I think the community can expect to see a lot more police in and around school zones uh, conducting uh, speed and other um, traffic regulation compliance. I'm happy to take any questions. How, what are we comparing it to in terms of previous years? Well last year uh, during the return to school week we had five fatalities on Queensland roads. Now fortunately none of those fatalities occurred within the actual school zone areas but nevertheless that's an indication of the sort of potential that exists. I think it's really important to point out too that last year was a very bad year in terms of the number of motorists who were detected speeding. We had almost 10,000 speed detections during that week long period during the uh, return to school uh, period of time and that of course is just an appalling statistic uh, and, it's, and it's definitely not something that Queenslanders can be proud of. Uh, in addition to that we had over 300 drink drivers uh, picked up during that period of time as well. So it really is a time when this year when we need to be thinking long and hard about our driving behaviour, particularly in this lead up to the return and the, and the, uh, the period of the return to school. What impact do you think the rain might have as well? It's very important. The rain is an added complication. It's an added danger. It adds to that risk potential in and around school zones. So it, it is really important that people understand that their visibility is decreased, their braking distance is increased, and all up there's a considerable greater potential for injury as a result of both rain and this return to school. Is this, is this return to school a final part, like phase four of the, of the holiday period? Yeah, officially our, our Christmas New Year return to school uh, holiday campaign uh, finishes this Friday, it's the 27th. So um, that proportion of the year that we set aside to enforcement in and around school zones, precincts, etc., etc., will roll back to our normal levels of enforcement, our normal levels of policing. How's that period been so far in terms of speeding, drink driving? Uh, you mean the overall? Yeah, uh, the overall I, I, I don't have that data with me, unfortunately. I, I, I focused primarily on this return to school uh, portion, but. Uh, that data is available, but I just don't have that with me for the overall period. Obviously, there's been a lot more focus, though. Well, yeah. I mean, as we start 2012, we're sitting now at 19 fatalities, which is 11 fatalities above uh, what we, where we were last year at the same time. So, I mean, that's a that's a real concern, and I think the the reason why it's important for us to push the message, particularly over this return to school period, is the fact that we've had so many fatalities in such a short space of time. We certainly don't want to see uh, adding, us adding anything to that statistic as we go. What do you think the reason is behind that massive increase on last year's fatalities? It's difficult to find any one particular reason for that. We do know that the majority of these accidents, uh, of these crashes, um, we, we are investigating the relationship between those and the fatal four causes of road accident. Um, now it's very early days of course. Uh, we began obviously this year's count in, as of the 1st of January and we've had 19 crashes since then so there's a great deal of work that has to be done in terms of investigation, a lot of forensic work uh, in order to be able to determine what the actual cause of those accidents were but certainly we are investigating the connection between speeding, fatigue, you know, drink and drug driving uh, and, uh, uh, and failing to wear seatbelts as a um, I guess uh, a contributing circumstance to 
at least half of the road crashes that have ended in death so far this year. We were in some of the school zones this morning watching drivers get picked up for speeding. Is there really any excuse now? I mean, it's, it's, been, it's been that way for a long time, the 40 zone. It's been well publicised and I think that most drivers now understand that when you're near a school zone, uh, there are limitations uh, and there is a reduction in terms of speed limit. And, and I really don't think it's, uh, it's good enough for people to say that they didn't know. I think you're right, I think it's been publicised far and wide. Uh, it's been the subject of a fairly uh, intensive uh, media campaign with our, our friends at the Department of Transport and Main Roads. And I do think that it's really important that people uh, pay attention to those, those uh, zones and those speed signs. I think the big thing that people overlook is that there are 42,000 more kids going to school for the first time. And this, this is 42,000 uh, children around about the age of five, six, seven years of age. And they do not think like a grown-up adult with all the experience and road sense in the world. They're just children and they're going to make mistakes. They're going to run out. Parents are going to try their best to to moderate that behaviour, obviously, but if they do run out, and particularly with wet weather, um, you know, uh, the the results against such a you know a small frail body is uh, is significant. You know, you mentioned speed detections across the board for, for this time last year, but do you know how many speedsters were caught um, in school zones this time no, last year? No, no, I don't. I didn't bring that data along with me. Didn't drill down that deeply. And, and no idea of, of how how you'd rate behaviour this morning so far. Now at this stage we'll get um, better information, um, you know, solid information uh, towards the end of the day and into, into tomorrow about how that first day went. Um, so far we've had no reports of any fatalities, um, so that's a, that's a very good thing, um, a positive thing. We've got our fingers crossed, we still have a long way to go, still another four and a half days of this campaign, so um, we, we certainly are, uh, are being vigilant, we're certainly ensuring that the enforcement uh, element of our strategy is, uh, is at work and we'll, um, we'll continue with that strategy until Friday.